I'm going to very quickly go over how to create a card over app that has AdSense in it. Um, I'm not going to bother going through how to install Cordova or how to do it on different types of machines or for different systems. It's quite simple, so you should be able to convert it to your own needs. Uh, the first thing you need to do is just create a Cordova app, which is Cordova or PhoneGap if you're using PhoneGap. Uh, create project name. Oh no, that's great. So that's the directory name. Then you want an ID. Uh, David Sherlock. That AdSense. So that ID has to be unique to you, and then the name of the project called AdSense. Um, so now we should have directory there, and you probably already made lots of uh, apps before. And this thing in the, the www folder is where all your stuff goes. So the first thing we need to do is add the AdSense plugin for Cordova. So you can very easily find some plugins by searching for AppMob Cordova plugin. Uh, and then these two top hits on GitHub are plugins that can add AppMob to your Cordova project. Um, this one here, the AppMob Pro, is the newer one and the one you should use. But that appears to be broken for me for um, Windows Mobile 8 and I've tried the, the demo that comes with it and it still doesn't seem to work so I've been using this old one uh, I'm going to go through how to install the old one but you should be able to follow the process and it should and try it first with the, with this new one the AdMob Pro because this is the one that seems to be being updated the old one they seems to uh, support seems to be winding down so just click the project you want like I say I'm using this old one but you probably want the newer one and you will end up in GitHub. Uh, so further down here, there is a how to install. This command here is how to install the plugin that we need. Uh, Cordova, Cordova plugin is the command. Well, Cordova plugin add, and this here will install the um, the plugin for you. So just copy that. Uh, go back to your terminal where you were typing your stuff in and paste it in here and press enter and so now this will go away and install the um, plugin and if you type Cordova plugin ls it gives you a list of all the plugins that are installed we have just got the one so now we've got the plugin um, installed and Cordova installed. There's just a few uh, little bits I need to do. The first is set the project up so it can run on the platform that you want your app to work on. So um, I want it to work on Android. So Cordova platform add Android. Uh, if you want it to work on Windows, you just change Android for WP8 for work for Windows Phone 8, or you can change Android for iOS um, if you want it to work on iOS, so if you want it to work on the iPhone. So now that should create, um, that should also sorry, install some more plugins because to run ads for on Android, you need the the Play Services plugin. Uh, you'll need the if you're doing it for Windows 8, you'll need the Windows Phone 8 um, AdMob SDK, but it will install the correct plugins for you, so that should be no problem. Um, once we've done that, we want to go to the directory uh, in which we installed Cordova. So this is um, the AdSense directory I created before. Uh, these are all the things that Cordova creates for you. In platforms, we've got Android now because we just created Android. www is where all your code goes. Uh, and I'm going to edit the index file. So I'll open that with a uh, text editor. Uh, 
when you've generated um, a card over application. So now we have the plugin installed to display out um, to play the adverts. I'm just going to show you how to make the adverts appear. Uh, you're best off reading the documentation for in depth um, detail and you know, how to make them appear, disappear, all that. But I'll just go very quickly through this. So this is the default um, a page. I'm just going to delete anything that uh, makes it do anything. So I've just got a blank HTML page. So I deleted the JavaScript file, the stuff in this div, uh, the class and the ID of this, and this CSS file. So now it's just basically like a blank um, index page. Um, so the first thing you want to do is write a function that runs when the apps loaded uh, so when the body tag is displayed so we'll type in here on load oh no, it's just one word not like that equals and then uh, the name of your function so we'll just call it on load <laughs> and then I'm going to write all my code in the head which is not a great idea but and just keep it simple. So your JavaScript goes in between script tags. Uh, then let's create a function called onload. And what we want to do is run some code when the device is ready. So when your phone has loaded all the plugins uh, and stuff, you know. There's no point trying to display ads until the device has loaded that plugin. So we want to put a little listener in here that will listen to when the device is loaded, then it will run some code. So if you head open a browser and you search for a device on load, device ready even, so Google device ready, Apache device ready and you should get this page and it will give you an example uh, this example here is fine so let's copy that uh, my laptop is going very slow at the moment so I'll copy that uh, so you want to add the listener in here so just adding a listener called uh, Adding a listener so that when the device is ready, it will run the function device ready, and then this function just let's cut that and put it below here. So now, <clears throat> when the when the body loads, it runs this function which says add a listener uh, so that when the device is ready, it runs some code called on device ready function, and then this is the function. So when the device is ready, you're then free to use the plugins or device APIs. So now let's just write something quick that will display um, an ad mob ad. So if you go back to uh, the GitHub page, do you remember we were on this before to find uh, the instructions for how to install? Uh, well, there is actually an example in test. So if you go into the test folder and then click the index HTML. Uh, this will load um, an ad for you, but just to keep it simple, we'll just take the bits that we need, and there's only two bits you need. The first is this if statement, which finishes at the end of this else, uh, so just copy that and put that into your on-device ready function. And so what this does, <coughs> excuse me, is it checks if the plugin's available which it should be if it's installed and we're doing it after the device is ready. Um, and then what you need to do in your Google Ad Mob, uh, you need to create some units and then paste the, um, the, uh, the ID to these units in here. And you need to create a different ad unit for Android, iOS and Windows Phone. And you need to paste the correct ID in here. And what this does is it checks if you're on which operating system you've got, loads the correct ad unit. Uh, so down here, 
is where it's doing the check-in and, and loading the crate the correct add unit into this variable uh, and then finally we just need to copy one more line uh, we won't even set the options you should do that really uh, but the line we're going to add is this one so down here this is a button in the demo but we're not going to push a button, we're just going to tell it to load straight away uh, to create the banner view. So this will create a little banner at the bottom of your Cordova application. So that is it. All you need to do then is type uh, into your terminal Cordova run and it will run a blank page on your uh, phone, if your phone's plugged in, or an emulator if you're using an emulator, uh, with an ad at the bottom. Uh, but the other thing you should do is register your device as uh, a development device, so that it's not sending real ads. That's quite easy to do, but I won't cover that in this video. So in a second I'll show a recording of my phone with the advert on it.